More and more of you guys and girls out there are buying ultrasonic cleaners. These things aren't just for like professional shops nowadays. I think a lot of you guys are buying these things because the price has gone down so much over the last few years and you can clean all kinds of different things in this cleaner. I started making a list. Hard to clean things. Jewelry, sunglasses, eyeglasses, hair brushes, combs, dentures. You know, as far as I go, auto parts, small engine parts is what I usually go in there. Carburetors is a big one. Um, silver, gold, coins, stuff like that. Tools, uh, sockets, wrenches, ratchets. Oh, for you, probably for just you Americans out there, I'm not 100% sure. Gun parts. You guys reload your own ammunition? You know, you got that big pile of brass before you reload your ammo. You throw all that brass in there, that brass comes out shiny and clean and gleaming again. Well, it makes your bullets look a lot prettier, I know that. Uh, this list, guys, it just goes on and on and on. The problem with one of these things is, this thing's a 15 liter ultrasonic cleaner. So I fill it up with water, I put whatever cleaning solution I want in there, and then I clean one lawnmower carburetor. The solution in there is now instantly dirty. I clean two or three of those in there. Now it's disgusting, it's greasy in there. I don't wanna put a hairbrush in there now. I don't wanna put my wife's diamond ring in there now. It's disgusting. You spend more time cleaning the reservoir out and changing your solution than you do using it almost. Well, today I got an awesome tip for you guys on how to get around that little issue right there. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. I'm Steve. Thank you so much for tuning in again. You guys are awesome. Hey, you know what else is awesome? Ultrasonic cleaners. You guys just saw in that intro that I just did right there on what the problem is with these things. So I got a great tip to solve that problem for you guys. I have to say this, you guys, otherwise I'm gonna get comments on this video saying, well, how does this thing work? Right in a nutshell here before we go on to the tip, ultrasonic cleaners. It's a, it's a tub of water or a solution in here that when you turn it on, there's ultrasonic sound waves that go through that, that sound like this. That's what that is right there. I know that's super annoying when you hear that noise, but that's what that is. You put a part in there, in that tub of solution, you turn that on and it's ultrasonic sound waves that go through the solution and they form little tiny microscopic bubbles on the surface of whatever you're cleaning in there. Those microscopic bubbles explode at a high temperature and as they're exploding, they're blowing little pieces of grease and debris and oil off of that part. That's in a nutshell how that works. As you can see right here, I have three different containers. I use peanut butter containers. Yeah, apparently my kids eat a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Most of this is my responsibility right here. I love peanut butter too. I use peanut butter containers because they're plastic. You can also use pickle jars. Big pickle jar, small pickle jar. The problem with these things is they're glass. I don't like to have glass around my shop. If I drop one of those things on the floor, on my concrete floor, Glass is shattered all over the place. Now I gotta clean it up. I drop one of these things on the floor. Who cares? You pick it up and carry on. I just prefer the plastic containers. That ultrasonic sound wave that goes through your solution will go through plastic, it'll go through glass. So here's what I do. Let's take this one for instance right here, Dawn dish soap. Dawn dish soap, you guys, it, it works great, it really does. All those advertisements out there are not BS. It is a grease cutter and it is a mild cleaner. I clean things in this that 